look. So I've had recording equipment for like eight years now. And <clears throat> for the most part, they're still the same brands, same kind of equipment. All I've done is like either bought new ones by now of the same exact kind of equipment that I had just so they're new and refreshed or I've upgraded to a couple new better things. But one thing I knew right off the bat when I started recording music was the fact that I needed to invest in recording equipment. Um, back in like, yo, from probably, I don't know, 2008 till like 2011, I was freestyling on my phone and, and don't get me wrong, I, the whole like recording music on the phone thing has a sort of nostalgia to it, to me, but I don't take it seriously. And it makes me sad because I know dope people and good homies that record music like this, so it's, it's no disrespect towards you. Um, but you can't be taken seriously by recording music on a phone. You just, you just can't. It's literally like baking something in an easy bake oven and thinking it's going to impress Gordon Ramsay or microwaving instant mashed potatoes and someone saying, hey, you should get a stove and learn how to make mashed potatoes from like scratch and homemade. It's way better. And you being like, oh, I'll think about it. You know, like that's that's what it's like. So when you're recording music on the phone and someone's like, yo, you need to, you really need to like invest in, into music equipment and legitimate recording music equipment to have a valid sound that um, compares with, with other artists out there. You got 12 year olds out there hitting multi-million dollar studios and paying for it by selling drugs. Motherfucker, you need to get some studio equipment. You're cutting yourself short by not doing that. You are not doing yourself any favors by making songs on a phone and putting them out there thinking that it's going to impress people. Now, it might be impressive to people that don't know much about recording or art aren't very involved in that world, but the people in the world, the people that, that, that matter, that you're going to have to impress, they're going to laugh at that shit. They're not going to be impressed by it. That's why I, I have a hard time responding to a lot of people that send me music. So I'd be like, Hey, you want to check out my song? And it was like some weird audio recording they did, you know, like, in like, I'll listen to the song and I'll critique the song itself, but you don't want me saying nothing about how it sounds <laughs> because my ears just are trained for a professional ass sound at this point. So with all due respect, get some recording equipment, you know, skip out on the pack of cigarettes, on the can of chew, on the weed on the whatever habit you got, the coffee for a while and save up and get some recording equipment. It's really not that expensive and there's music sites out there everywhere that allow you to make payments once a month. Pretty cheap payments to have a whole ass recording set up. Then bam, guess what? You're running with the big dogs. You're running with the people that matter at that point. And then you watch YouTube tutorials or Ask me or anyone else you know that makes music and has for a long time on how to get a good sound out of it. It's that simple. Do yourself a favor and do that. Because by sending phone recorded music to people that matter, that 
are going to judge it harshly is not going to help you in the long run. And I know it's exciting. You make a song, you're like, oh, it sounds dope. I love it. I put heart into this. And that is respected. That is admired. And that is appreciated. But then we see that it's on a phone and recorded on a phone and made on a phone. And it's like, ah, fucking cutting yourself short, man. Cutting yourself short. It's laughable because we don't take it serious. You're not taking it serious enough to spend some music on some music equipment, on some re legitimate recording equipment. You're taking an easy, cheap way out, being lazy with yourself. That's just a cold, hard, hard truth, whether you want it or not. Whether I sound like an asshole or I don't sound like an asshole, I don't care. That's just what it is. That's how it is. It is what it is. Get some music recording equipment, learn how to record the shit, and learn how to make some valid sounding music. Because that, that's what's going to take you somewhere. You have to teach yourself or get taught or figure out how to do that. Or go to a damn recording studio. Go to a homie's house who has a setup. Go record somewhere. Don't do it on the phone. Practice on your phone. Record songs on your phone so you have the songs remembered and laid out how you want. Then take that shit to a recording studio and lay that shit down there. Let the songs on your phone be the demo songs. Not the actual songs that you want to push. Just take it seriously. If you want to be taken seriously with music, then you got to take yourself seriously and you got to invest in yourself. That includes recording equipment. That includes paying for a studio. That includes spending money. It's probably going to be a pretty penny to make a damn good sounding song. That's all I got to say. Stop with them phone recordings, man. Stop with the phone recordings. <laughs> <laughs>